Hello everyone, this is Dr. Shweta Anand and welcome back to my channel Simplified Dentistry. Today's topic is eruption sequence. So let's know how we can remember the eruption sequence easily. First let's see for primary teeth. So you must be knowing that in Palmer notation the uppercase English letters A to E are used to depict the primary teeth in each quadrant and the numbering starts from midline and continues backward. So in each quadrant A stands for central incisor, B for lateral incisor, C for canine, D for first molar and E for second molar. So now the first thing that you need to keep in mind is that the eruption sequence for maxillary teeth and mandibular teeth in primary dentition is A, B, D, C, E. Now there are two ways in which you can remember the eruption sequence. Either you can remember the age within a range or the mean age. So first let's see how you can remember the eruption age for primary dentition within a range. The first teeth to erupt are lower and upper central incisors which erupt between the age of 6 to 12 months. The next two erupt are lateral incisors between 9 to 16 months, followed by first molars from 13 to 19 months, next the canines erupt from 16 to 23 months, and at last the second molars erupt from 23 to 33 months. So you can remember the eruption age within a range and it will be easy to remember in this way. Now let's see the second way to remember the eruption sequence which is to remember the mean age of eruption of primary teeth. In this way also, first you have to remember the eruption sequence as A, B, D, C, E and write it down for both maxillary and mandibular teeth of one side. Now just divide it into three parts. In the first part include the upper and lower central incisor and lateral incisor that is A and B. In the second part only first molar that is D and in the third part canine and second molar that is C and E. Now form a trapezium like structure without base in the first part, straight line in the second part and inverted trapezium like structure without base in third part. Now just mention 8, 10, 11 and 13 in the same way as the arrow is shown on all the four corners of first trapezium. 16 on the straight line and 19, 20, 27 and 29 in the same way as the arrow is shown on all the four corners of inverted trapezium. So now see, the mean eruption age of lower central incisor is 8 months. Upper central incisor is 10 months, upper lateral incisor is 11 months, lower lateral incisor is 13 months. For both upper and lower first molar, the mean eruption age is 16 months. For upper canine, it is 19 months and for lower canine, it is 20 months. For lower second molar, it is 27 months and for upper second molar, it is 29 months. So I hope that you find this an easier way to remember the sequence. Now let's move on to the permanent teeth. So according to Palmer notation, the permanent teeth is mentioned 1 to 8 in each quadrant and the numbering begins from midline and moves backward. So 1 is central incisor, 2 is lateral incisor, 3 is canine, 4 is first premolar, 5 is second premolar, 6 is first molar, 7 is second molar and 8 is third molar. For permanent teeth, it will be easier if we remember the eruption sequence separately for maxillary and mandibular teeth. So first let's know about maxillary teeth. The eruption sequence in maxillary teeth is 6, 1, 2, 4, 3, 5, 7, 8. You will have to remember this sequence. So let's see how you can do that easily. Normally we write the notation as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And to remember the eruption sequence, you just have to put 6 at first and interchange the position of 3 and 4. Always remember that in permanent dentition, upper and lower first molar, that is 6, is the first teeth to erupt. One more thing you need to keep in mind is that the position of 3 and 5 can also interchange. 
Now you just have to form a timeline from 6 years to 13 years and have to mention the eruption sequence that is 6124357 in between each year. 6 in between 6 to 7 years, 1 in between 7 to 8 years, 2 in between 8 to 9 years and just leave the time period between 9 to 10 years and then 4 in between 10 to 11 years, 3 in between 11 to 12 years and 5 in between 10 to 12 years. This is the reason why eruption sequence of 3 and 5 can interchange. Either 3 or 5 erupts first. And at last mention 7 in between 12 to 13 years. So you can interpret all this in a form that maxillary first molar erupts between 6 to 7 years, maxillary central incisor erupts between 7 to 8 years, Maxillary lateral incisor erupts between 8 to 9 years. Maxillary first premolar erupts between 10 to 11 years. Maxillary canine erupts between 11 to 12 years. Maxillary second premolar erupts between 10 to 12 years. And maxillary second molar erupts between 12 to 13 years. Third molar do not come until age 17 or later. It may erupt between 17 to 21 years. Now let's know about mandibular teeth. The eruption sequence in mandibular teeth is 6123457, which you have to remember. Normally the notation is 1 to 8, and in order to remember the eruption sequence, you just have to put 6 at first because maxillary and mandibular first molars are the first permanent teeth to erupt in the oral cavity. Now again form a timeline from 6 years to 13 years in order to mention the eruption sequence that is 6123457 in between each year. Include 6 and 1 in between 6 to 7 years, 2 in between 7 to 8 years, 3 in between 9 to 10 years, 4 in between 10 to 12 years, 5 in between 11 to 12 years and 7 in between 11 to 13 years. So you can interpret all this in a form that mandibular first molar and mandibular central incisor erupts between 6 to 7 years, mandibular lateral incisor erupts between 7 to 8 years, mandibular canine erupts between 9 to 10 years, mandibular first premolar erupts between 10 to 12 years, mandibular second premolar erupts between 11 to 12 years, and mandibular second molar erupts between 11 to 13 years. Mandibular third molars also do not come until age 17 or later. It may erupt between 17 to 21 years. Thank you for watching this video and for more such contents please like, share and subscribe to Simplified Dentistry.